నా టాకింగ్ అబౌట్ ఆషికీ టూ ఆషికీ టూని తెలుగులో మీరు చేశారు నిజతగా నేను ఉండాలి అది మీరు డూ యూ థింక్ ఇట్స్ అ రాంగ్ డెసిషన్ అది చేయకుండా ఉండాలని మీరు ఏమైనా ఎప్పుడైనా అనుకున్నారా ఐ ఆల్వేస్ ఫీల్ బెస్ట్ మ్యాన్ నోస్ ఇస్ జాబ్ బండ్ల గణేష్ దట్ టైమ్ Uh, at that time i would say was a successful producer at least he portrayed to be he has done films with uh, pavan kalyan he came to me uh, to uh, do a tie up for film productions and i was very happy to do a five film deal with him uh, because that is the time i was looking back at telugu again as a producer i was never looking at it as an actor he harrowed me like about 10 times with the fact that i should do one telugu film okay audience wants me to see him telugu I just bought Telugu Warriors. I played for the cricket. Uh, I performed well. Audience reaction was good. So I said, might as well, probably they want to see me again. Uh, in that process, he was after me to do Aashik. I said, why not do a straight film? So the, the idea that I bought in that moment of Ganesh was, uh, it's safer to do a successful film mm. because it is already successful yeah. the idea is accepted by the audience so the audience over here will also accept it that is fair enough i took that as a chance and i did that film but the fail in utter flop it uh, bombed again i will i have a difference of opinion over that oh na yes mm. the success or a flop of a film mm. is based on the collection of the film okay you got the collections that's what i'm coming to okay when people talk about it mm. when when uh, audience perception is different of success and hit a flop the industry the way it looks at it is in a different pan mm. it probably collected better than any of my films mm. when i'm saying it collected better in that time it collected nearly 9 and a half crores okay from the audience if audience has gone and paid that kind of money to watch a film mm. is a different story but what banla did cleverly with the distributors mm. i filed a case that's why i, I mm. can officially talk about it he never showed the collection he adjusted with his previous losses till date he is not uh, shown it on records okay so what the industry word he put it mm. negative industry word to people is that it did not collect okay whereas the other distributors which i ended up getting the details out of okay is showing different so, so the business is different collected it's collected over 9 and a half crores i have evidence which has been proven to the court of law and other uh, uh, departments so officially that has been proven ikkad nenu oka mood vakyalu quote and quote of banla ganesh cheppali quotes what he quoted ashiki to first press meet appudu aina em chepparante sachin joshi is my soul mate annadu hmm that's what he told it's, it's recorded Hmm. he said sachin joshi is my soul mate you should ask him why did he change that it then that is the first thing second thing quote and quote again he said i don't know sachin joshi hmm. i don't know who he is mood odi why would i make a film am i mad na ke ona picha nen endu chestanu sachin joshi tho cinema endu chestanu so these are the three things that banla ganesh said in different times hmm. so what is your take on it Ah, uh, I mean these things happen in politics. I've seen it uh, quite often happening in politics that you know somebody and you deny that I don't know somebody. Mm-hmm. But uh, in real life for the first time coming across something like this uh, was also like a shock to me. But as I said, you always need to keep your strength in place. Banla Ganesh that I've I've ever seen of him ever was uh, in my second film Mm-hmm. while i was working on the script that i saw him ure pandu was a film that he was a part of it was one of the five actors standing behind at that time he is such an irritating character even today he is not changed see you can change your habits but you can't change your nature mm-hmm. so banla ganesh is a compulsive liar he has a disorder of believing he is he's like a cat cat has a habit of closing the eyes and drinking the milk so that nobody is watching me so he's that cat who thinks nobody is watching everybody is intelligent to understand 
that is the time he is a compuls he has a compulsive disorder he was after me knowing my background please give me something i can't even feed my family properly i am doing small little, little roles here and there at that time i suggested his name to like the same friend of my father's who had a business established business in hyderabad that please see if you can help him they gave him a distribution at that time which supported his family and that's how he started meeting people they started supporting him and uh, funding him to finance his first film second film third film as 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 financiers that's how his career began and then probably i've been out of hyderabad 6 7 8 years i've been busy in bombay i've been doing different things i'm expanding he came up through his friend who is also known to me a trustworthy fellow from hyderabad a businessman a construction company that the gentleman has he came up to me and he said that this guy is grown so much he started promoting him i said fine fair enough i know this man he's grown up in a very hard way and that's where he said that i want you to support me we can become the largest producers in telugu because telugu there is no there are companies that are coming in but there is not really a, a consortium mm. of good producers for me i ha- i had the similar idea i wanted to produce good films telugu industry i understand i know the people that is how i associated because i didn't have the bandwidth or the time to spend here that's how i associated with him funded him but if the film did not do well in terms of collections there is a certain commitment you've done you need to follow those he started uh, showing his true colors so when i was his soul mate while i was funding him to do films it was all right the moment he was not living up to his commitments and i am asking him to fulfill his commitment of repayment he just disappears and starts talking nonsense so that's the truth behind it i think oka vishayam meeru oka inta goppa business bastion you've been such a great entrepreneur you know people me people inta mandi people management lo meer ditta meer inni inni industries nadiparu ore pandu cinema time lo ne you were saying just now that you you came to know what kind of a man is he why, why is it that repeatedly you've been trusting him enduku mari antaga meer prathi sari మనీ <laughs> you can also invest that is the trust in business that you need to put you need to put in faith not trust i don't trust anybody for that matter except for myself trust is something which is a very large word you have to put in faith you are doing an interview with me right now you're putting in your faith and honesty i'm putting in my faith and honesty that's how i look at it so i put in my faith i produced i did a five film deal with him i funded him for Uh, the first three films and when he did not start living up to his commitment and that's where it i said i don't trust you mm. you have breached my faith you need to repay back and his intentions have changed his intention was never uh, to do the right thing his intention was always to do a fraud okay. and everybody has to pay her so let's put it this way i did my actions i have not done anything wrong time will prove mm. everybody has to pay for their sin in today's time he will also pay. somebody will pay on his behalf we always say that whatever the father and mother do the children have to pay that is belief general belief system he will also pay but post bandla ganesh episode telugu cine parisramalo me status and stature emaina maaripoyinda the way people look at you or perceive you i'm talking about the people in the industry i don't see it different they in fact each and every person that i've known in this industry they have only abused and hated even the presence of mandala ganesh forget about any other thing they always perceived me in a certain manner a businessman an actor who is trying to make uh, his mark in telugu industry they still perceive the same way there's no change 
the only difference is earlier i was an outsider for them now he is a part of the family that's the feeling i get from so all cool. my actors all the technicians everybody in the telugu industry it's only become better okay so i've been accepted in the family without any mm. second thoughts same with there is always a resistance for everybody in any industry you go it's not just the cinema any industry you go it's the same right now i'm facing the similar challenge with uh, the alcohol industry i'm growing okay uh, people are making sure that i don't grow okay but then you have to slowly yeah. adjust to face the challenges you have to face the challenges mm. and fight with it for more videos please subscribe to idream hi this is sai kripa strength coach for more videos please subscribe to idream and more videos please subscribe to idream media hi i am sirisha reddy fashion designer please subscribe to idream media for more videos please subscribe idream media please do subscribe to idream hello nandarki namaskaram nenu meet up srinu please subscribe to idream media idream ante na kalala channel lo subscribe cheskunna nor terugutaledu meeraithe ganta gurtu kotundi